the most amazing 3D drawing program you have never heard of. Turn your drawings into 3D, also known as the holy grail of 3D for 2D artists. Now, we're still a few distance away from a program that can do it perfectly. I'm very sure that artificial intelligence is the secret sauce. We just have to be a little bit more patient. This pipe dream first came knocking on our door around 2006 when Takio Igarashi first brought Teddy to us. Here is the historic video that marks that moment. Teddy is a sketching interface for designing freeform models such as stuffed animals. The user draws 2D freeform strokes interactively and the system constructs a 3D shape automatically. This demonstration is running as a Java applet on a standard PC. I will introduce the modeling operations one by one. When you draw a close stroke on the blank canvas, the system constructs a 3D model by inflating the closed region. The algorithm is designed for the construction of round models and it creates various naturally looking shapes. This is a snake. Our algorithm makes wide area flat and narrow area thin. This is a dinosaur. This kind of modeling required many operations in previous systems. This is a snail. We use real-time pen and ink rendering to encourage creative exploration. You can draw lines on the object surface by drawing a stroke within the object. Camera position changes when you hold a button on the stylus. Scribbling gesture on top of a surface line erases it. Extrusion is a two-stroke operation. You first draw a closed stroke on the surface and then draw an extruding stroke. This is basically a sweep operation. With it, you can create various shapes like this long extrusion. This is useful to create an arm or a leg. Or this fat extrusion. This is useful to create a head. and this thin, plate-like extrusion. This is useful to create a wing or a fin. You can also dig a hole using the same operation. The resulting model is always topologically equivalent to a sphere. You can cut the object by drawing a stroke that crosses the object. With the same operation, you can also take a bite out of the object. This is useful to create a mouth. Cutting stroke makes the cut section red, and you can extrude the section by drawing an extruding stroke. If you want to remove unnecessary bumps, draw a close stroke around it, and scribble. Then the system constructs a new, smooth surface. This operation can be used to remove a crease to smoothly merge the extruded surfaces. When you want to bend the model, press the Bend button to start the bending operation and draw a reference stroke and then a target stroke. The system modifies the shape of the model based on your strokes. You can use this to deform your model in many different ways. Since then, a number of programs had came and gone that built upon this, and I have tried many of them, even Paint 3D, because I'm obsessed with this. 
Some programs say they could do this, but in the end, you realize they require that the vertex count and the curves be exactly the same, or you're restricted to drawing in a rather esoteric or restrictively sequential way that's just not intuitive at all. Of all these drawing programs that I have encountered, one particular program sticks out in my head the most because it is the closest I think we have gotten to the idea. The good news is that the program is still available out there. The bad news is, I think, the developer abandoned it. I couldn't even buy a serial key. I tried to contact them, but... This program is so intuitive that I'm gonna try to do something that's beyond just a roundish, plushy thing with it. And I don't think it's supposed to do things beyond roundish, plushy thing. <laughs> this part is recorded before I even try it, so I don't know whether it will work. I fully expect it to fail. I have zero expectation that it will work. However, I will get to show you all why I think this is the most powerful 3D drawing program out there that matches the way we draw in real life. So, let's go. I'm gonna start by drawing the side view first. Could have easily been the front view? It doesn't matter, it's a very easy going program. I apologize for temporarily blocking the view. Due to the way the display is angled, I positioned myself a certain way for added stability in order to draw the exact curve that I'm after. This will only take a while. Some of you might have noticed that I'm running this program on Windows XP. Though it is not strictly necessary, I have a feeling that this program was created during the era and primarily for the era. So I run it in that environment to make sure it is optimum. Now I'm going to shape it out in the front view by using this most amazing tool. This is no ordinary lattice tool. There is absolutely nothing like this in any other 3D program. A lot of good folks have kindly showed me the lattice modifier in Blender and other programs, but I'm going to show you now what I've shown them, and when you understand, when you get it, your jaw would drop. Say I want to correct this portion of the curve. You know what, let's not call it a curve, let's call it outline, because that's what I call it when I draw. Say you want to correct the outline. On paper, I will just use the eraser and redraw it. Here we can do the same or better. I draw a line here and a semi-lattice will be overlaid, and I can start moving the points. If I want to add more points, I just click on the line. If I want to delete the points, I just right click on it. Notice that this is all from a 2D perspective. This is exactly like drawing and you just keep on doing this until every part is to your liking everywhere. Let me show you how this might have been done in Blender. First, I have to create the lattice modifier and align it to view. Ugh, oh, this is painful. Can you imagine having to do this every time you rotate to a different angle to create the outline? And then I have to attach the model to the lattice via a modifier before I can start moving the points. All this excessive motion just to use the lattice when that drawing program gives you this power in one intuitive stroke. Now you usually have to execute this corrective motion tens of times in just under a minute. Just like in drawing, you will draw curves slightly and progressively darken those that are more correct. You don't even think about it, you just do it. If I have to use Blender's ridiculous create lattice, apply modifier to model, attach lattice workflow over and over again for every portion that I want to correct, I would just stop. I would not do it. That's why when I'm modeling in Blender, I have to work as a 3D guy, not as a 2D guy, and that's okay. Now remember that on that drawing program, I can just add a point anywhere I like by just clicking on the line. In Blender, adding points to the lattice require you to change the setting in the lattice panel, and what happens is it redistributes all the points when you do so. This is totally expected behavior for a 3D lattice modifier in Blender, 3D Studio Max, etc. And it's a far cry from, this is where you want it, I'll put it right there, lattice point behavior of the 3D drawing program. In that drawing program, if I want to remove a point, I can just right click on it. In Blender, I have to go through the motion of going to the lattice panel, remove it from there, 
and you won't even get to decide which point to remove as the ladder system will just redistribute equally the remaining points which is expected from a traditional 3D modeling system. So all in all, this amazing, seemingly abandoned program allows you to draw like a 2D artist. Granted, you have to retopolize, but this is the same if you were to use sculpting. There are some add-ons for Blender that claims they can do this with curve adjustments, but you still have to enter into edit mode to select the vertices, so... Yeah, not even close. The topology created by conceptual programs like this are almost always a mess, just like 3D sculpting, but unlike 3D sculpting, I do not have to constantly smooth out high-frequency noise. This program also tends to generate smooth surfaces. You just use the 2D letters tool to guide the program on how the mesh is supposed to look like from various angles just like when you're drawing using a pencil, and it just interpolates nicely. I'm not thinking vertices, edges, or polygons when I'm using this program. I am so grateful I do not have to deal with all those sculpting brushes and instead, all I need is just this 2D letters tool that allows me to think like a 2D drawing artist. Sculpting is not my cup of tea. I usually just go straight to edge modeling, but I'm looking forward to learning it someday. However, this program allows me to model the way I draw. I wish I could hug the creator and say thank you for creating this 2D lattice tool. This 2D lattice tool is one of those tools where once you have tried it, you will go, Oh right, of course. Of course this is the way it should be done. So do I endorse this program? Well, this program is dead. No support, 32-bit. And um, what that means is, if you model something that is of sufficient complexity, you will have difficulty exporting the model. The program will either pop up a dialogue saying memory error and crash, or sometimes it will just crash. My way of resolving this issue is to chop the model up into bits and pieces and then rejoin them back up in Blender. It's a bit of a nuisance, but what can you do? The program is not supported anymore. If you know of any program that can do anything close to this, please do let me know. But I want to make it super clear that it is not the drawing part that is impressive because it's basically an auto lathing algorithm. That's okay. What is super impressive is the 2D lattice. Now there are some add-ons in Blender that purport to do this, but then you're gonna have to go to the edit mode and then select the vertices and then whatever. Now as far as I'm concerned, if I have to go to edit mode and start selecting vertices, you already lost me. I mean, I could do that, but if I am to do that, then I might as well start thinking in 3D terms. And that just kind of defeats the purpose of this amazing, intuitive 2D lattice in this program. Just select the points and move it. You want more points, you just left click on it and more points will be there. And if you don't want that point, you just right click and the points is gone. Like, you don't have to go and adjust the 3D lattice because it's not, it's, it's not 3D lattice, it's just a 2D outline thing. It's amazing. It's nothing like this outside, nothing. Ah. <sighs> So I hope somebody would create a program similar to this. And remember, it's not the drawing tool that is impressive. It is the 2D lattice. It's so impressive. Remember, if you have to select vertices to execute this tool, you already lost. And don't give me 3D lattice. It's 2D. It's completely 2D, at least on the onset. There is a lot of research papers since then that purport to do something like that. But they're all videos. Looks good, but until we got a chance to try it, as far as I'm concerned, it's probably just one of those looks good for a few special cases, but couldn't use it for anything else. So. And besides, we have no access to the program, so all these discussions are mute anyway. I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching till this far uh, because usually my videos are straight to the point. But this is something that I deeply care about. The ability to translate your drawing from 2D to 3D as automatically as possible. This, this is so deeply ingrained within my desire. 
So it couldn't be one of those straight to the point videos. And also, if you are able to, please support my Patreon. Um, times are a little tough, so I could really appreciate a little help. All right, that's it. This is Bracelet Jack, and I'll see you next time.